you know, I'm talking with Tyler from Mini Mansions. We're not I'm really gonna, backstage, though. So we're not. It's lying. kind of like it's like a yeah. paddock yeah. of media personnel, and we're sweating it out back <laughs> there. Dude, let's talk about um, something called Mini Mansions. Please, please, please. Um, you were just in my home city. Um, taxation without representation is nice. on our license nice. tags. Nice. Of uh, Washington, D.C., playing two sold-out shows with Arctic Monkeys. The anthem, actually. It is the beautiful anthem. venue. Same owner as 930 Club. Same owner. It's yeah, their, same it's owner. Their baby. Yeah. The new one. I don't know where to go this, with this. Well, I'll I'm take waiting you there. For, I yeah. feel like we're playing a game of uh, checkers right now. Do you want to roll the dice first? I might. Yeah. What is? Do it. You got to roll both of them, my man. Oh shit. Well, that's a three, and roll that one. Oh, cool. I Three love two. asking wow. this Three question. Two. Do you bring animals on the bus? Do you have any animals? In we have place? a no animal policy. Um, yeah, we don't bring animals. I almost, I got a frog that I found, where was it? Uh, in Madrid. <laughs> You're great. taking this to the next level. I I'm actually thinking found a dog, this frog. a cat. I consider frogs animals, but apparently I couldn't bring that one on the bus. No. Why do you have a no animal policy on the bus? Uh, I think it's more about border patrol people. It's always a hassle getting like your pet gerbil across Canada. Good God, Canada. Man. You've really taken this in a direction. I, yeah. It's backstage. Um, yeah, there's two things you don't backstage bring on your bus, clear. right? Or two things you don't do on your bus. Bring an animal and no then animals. drop a wrinkled neck brown trout in the toilet, right? There we go. You just R don't what do that. What did you call it? R wrinkled neck brown trout. Wow. Is that a turtle? Depends on no, it's a trout. what you had for dinner the day before. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Let's talk about mini mansions. You've got a little something something coming out in September. Is this correct? Got a little something something coming out. And this is the first week of August, so now I can say next month, mini mansions. Is it an EP? It's an EP. Yeah, the 28th. Can I ask you about the EP? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Without any oh judgment, God. can I ask you about the EP? Uh, please, please. Why please. an EP versus a full presentation of, of a record? Uh... Good question, actually. That's a business question. I think it's more about we, a lot of these songs are indicative of a record that we're putting out next year. And this EP is a perfect, compact representation of that record. When was and the last uh, time you went out for a steak dinner and you get the shrimp cocktail or oysters Rockefeller? Yes. That's your EP. There we go. And we'll bring the T-Bone next turf. year. Surf and turf. The T-Bone comes next year. Yeah, T-Bone's right. next year. Dry aged. Um, so... Oh, I like dry aged beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 42 days dry it. age. I knew it, Claire. Yeah, dude. I knew it. Um, so tell me about this. Um, with a with an EP, and you're out on the road right now. You're on playing some songs from said EP, right? Said EP. But that people don't necessarily know because it's not out yet. So when you start the song, you're like, hey, it's this will be out awkward. on an EP it's in always September awkward 28. doing that, yeah. It's fun, though, to play songs people don't know because uh, it's a good way of gauging whether or not they're going to be <laughs> good. <laughs> Whether they'll like them. Something <laughs> tells me, though, Obviously. that you deserve to have a monocle when you say something like that. We know it's going to oh, be good, monocle. dude. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I you wish know, I had a monocle. When you see a guy with a monocle, that automatically elevates the game, whether you know anything about that person or not. Reminds me of Monopoly. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I thought of that. He Let's a play a game. I'm going to give you a couple of cards for Cards Against Humanity. I heard about this. And yeah. I'm going to pick this. Ooh, what's my secret power? Tyler oh, from Mini Mansions, oh. Lollapalooza. What's your secret power? What's your secret power? Oh, I was going to say tax without representation. No. What's uh, my secret power? My secret power would be, wow, that's a good question. I'm a comic book fan, too. i got to think about this one real quick. Pick one of those cards and answer the question. Oh, that, that's how it works. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, soft, kissy, missionary sex. Good God, man. Oh. I missionary just met you. sex. <laughs> There's I'm, an EP. I'm a missionary guy, kind of guy. <laughs> I got to ask you about Mikey, and I want to ask you about Mikey because please, 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 please. Um, when, uh, when he is in a band called Queens of the Stone Age, mm -hmm. right, he's full-time doing that. But when there was a lull in the action a handful of years ago, are musicians constantly looking not to have a lull? So that opened the way for Mini Mansions when they were on a break? You mean, are, are you trying to, are you saying like we take advantage of the time that we have together? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when one band is kind of on a hiatus, you know, we've yeah. been out on an album cycle for a couple of years. Yeah. We're going to just marinate on the back burner for a minute. Gotcha. People get antsy, and those people I'm talking about are the musicians in many mansions. Oh, I see where you're going with this. We never, well, we always get antsy all the time. And a lot of this record that's coming out next year, 
was written while Michael was on tour and I was on tour, yeah. yada, yada. But uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of this is just always, is basically reflective of us always writing, whether or not we're with each other or, you know, so you crave in, in Madrid. making music. Crave it. Crave it. I'm going to say a couple things right now. Tyler, uh, your band is not at Lollapalooza. But you come here and you're just putting in the time. You're hitting putting the streets and in the pavement. the time. Right? I love that. I, I love uh, talking to strangers that want to, you know, you know what I mean? You're not a stranger now, but I, I just like talking to strangers with microphones. It's a good <laughs> job. Let's talk about sep September 28th. Septem September 28th. Yeah, Mini Mansions. I suggest you pick up the EP. Pick it up. Maybe it up. with a side of uh, cocktail dipping sauce until the main entree comes Surf and out. Surf 